life cycle thinking, which is a fantastic quick tool to understand and compare different material properties, what we do is we actually just use a simple piece of paper and draw the different life cycle stages. These are a bunch of different examples that were done today in the workshop. There's no really hard or fast rules other than you want to go through the five main life cycle stages from material extraction through to end of life. And you ask the students to essentially start with how we get materials such as ceramics or plastics and you get an everyday product and compare it. And what we find is that people come up with many different interpretations of the challenge, but they come to the same outcome, which is how are materials made, what is their life uh, story, and ultimately what kind of end of life options do they have. From doing this, we can start to assess which materials work better in certain contexts, but also how do we redesign the functional delivery of everyday products so that we can find more sustainable and circular solutions.